In this lesson, we'll kick off the content creation process by turning the keyword insights we discovered in the previous lesson into actionable steps. As we covered in a previous lesson, keyword clusters can help us boost the topical authority of a website. When it comes to content creation, each keyword cluster represents a potential article that requires execution. So let's look at how we can streamline this entire process using the Keyword Planner. Let's use our 1000 calorie diet cluster, which contains seven keywords. Traditionally, planning your content from this point on meant manually diving into each keyword to see what type of content ranks for each keyword. And that was just so that you could figure the search intent behind each keyword so you could match the tone in your article. Well, you now have all that information inside the keyword planner, but still some thought is required, especially when the micro intents vary. The good news is the writer's end team has removed this obstacle with the suggest content brief button. This magic button takes all the keyword insights and metrics and creates a template for your article, covering every angle to make it as impactful as possible. Just click the button and generate your content brief in the blink of an eye. You can minimize the content brief and bring it back up as needed. You can also revisit any cluster at any point and access all your previously created content briefs. Let's look at the content brief for our example. The content angle is based on the target audience and the author's perspective, which we'll discuss in a moment, and has a single goal, engaging the audience and addressing the customer's pain points. The target audience is the predefined market or business segment intended for your content. Understanding the target audience helps us tailor our content. The author's perspective is the recommended viewpoint, beliefs, opinions, and experiences that an author brings to their writing. The author's perspective greatly influences the tone, language, and overall message conveyed. The seed keyword is preset to the highest volume keyword for this topic. In this example, it's 1000 calorie diet. The content format is the suggested structure for the content. Examples include blog post, that's the default in Writer's End, review, listicle, and how to guide. And the writing tone sets the overall mood and impression the content evokes in the audience. Examples include formal, this is the default, informative, explanatory, friendly, conversational, analytical, critical. You'll find the content brief explained in more detail in this article. Click it and use it as a reference. Note that you can generate a new tone by clicking the button again and overwriting your old content brief with a new one. You can also manually adjust the brief to match a particular situation. Any changes you make will be automatically saved. The content brief is the guideline for you or your writers to follow, but it's also the guideline for Writers Ends AI if you want to automatically generate your content. Once you have a solid content brief, the next step is to set up your article. To do that, click the Create Article button. In the new article pop-up, you'll see three tabs, General, Content Brief, and Shared Access. The General tab enables you to create a new project or save the article to an existing project. You can activate our AI Assistant and leverage Google's NLP to write your article. At this point, there are two ways in which you can use our AI. To generate basic info, choose Write Article Title, Description and Outline. To create a complete content piece, including the above basic info, choose Write the whole article. You can click the Advanced Settings link to set a priority and deadline for the article. As I've mentioned in previous videos, when it comes to generating content with AI, do spend some time to revise it and add your own human touch. The Content Brief tab displays the content brief you generated. Here you can double check it and make any necessary adjustments. In the Shared Access tab, you can add writers to your article. Just note that each writer needs to have an email address registered on Writer's End. If inviting guests to an article, you can set up permissions for them so they can view the competitor panel, view related questions, or check plagiarism. 
once you finish setting up your project, you can go directly to the article or continue planning. Here are some tips and advice to help you get the most out of our AI. The simple rule of thumb is better input equals better output. So follow the AI suggestions first, such as the content brief, and modify them to suit your specific preferences later. This will significantly influence the quality of the AI output in the next step, whether you're using the AI to generate basic information or the entire content piece. Treat the AI as your assistant, not as your leader. While AI is a valuable tool, it should never replace your expertise and judgment. So remember to maintain your role as the content creator and decision maker, and use the AI as a tool to enhance and complement your creative process. You can significantly scale up your content production by multi-selecting items and using the AI to generate content briefs and articles in bulk. Here's how. I'll start by selecting a topic. This automatically selects all the clusters within that topic. You can deselect a cluster by unchecking the box. Next, I'll click the Suggest Content Brief. You can see the number of clusters this applies to. Let's click the button and let the AI generate the content briefs. At this point, I can review each content brief and make any changes I deem necessary. You can see the content briefs when I toggle between clusters. You can deselect a cluster by unchecking the box. Once you review the content briefs and you're happy with everything, click the Create Article button. I'm going to create a new project for these articles. and I let the AI generate the basic information as well as the full article. I'll click Advanced Settings and set the priority to High. Next, under Shared Access, I'll add Amy as a writer and click Create. Now the AI is generating all the articles for the clusters I selected. Let's open the project. And here you can see all the articles we just generated with the AI. As you just saw, our AI Assistant enables you to generate multiple pieces of quality content effortlessly. Additionally, all those niggly tasks that are usually required are completely removed, saving you valuable time and leaving you to focus on what matters most. This is how you can streamline and accelerate your content production process and maximize your productivity. In this lesson, we saw how we can automate the process of turning the keyword insights we discovered in the previous lesson into full-blown articles. We saw how we can use the power of the content creator and our AI to generate content briefs and articles in bulk in a matter of seconds. You now have the keys to accelerate your content planning and creation to a level that has never before been possible until now. Go ahead and jump into the Keyword Planner and unleash your 